is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4. We have team coverage of this spring storm. Jalen Banks is live at an outdoor polling place watching how people are adapting to the weather. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano is out on the live drive keeping an eye on road conditions in Madison. And it is election day, which means our teams are out in the community bringing you the latest coverage. From a small rural town all the way to Green Bay, we have every angle of this election covered tonight. And we are starting with a live look at the roads in Madison right now. This is the Beltline at John Nolan Road. That is not file tape. No. It is April 2nd. The highway looks okay so far. Traffic is moving slow, but the snow is really coming down in places and conditions are slippery and they could get worse before they could get be before they get better. And this storm is picking up right before, of course, the evening commute with conditions across Wisconsin getting more dangerous by the minute. So here is a look at the Wisconsin 511 map. You can see everything is being impacted right now in our area, but the main roads aren't the only ones getting pounded by the snow right now. Our meteorologist Jacob Montesano is out driving right in the middle of it right now. So Jacob, tell us what you are seeing and experiencing out there. Well, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is very, very bad on the roads. Uh, I'm going to be completely frank about that. Uh, if we take a look at the current road conditions, pretty much everywhere is completely snow covered. We have seen several cars stuck in the snow, not just going up ramps. We've seen cars stuck in the snow on flat roads. And we also have seen a tree had fallen down in the middle of one of the side streets. Now, right now we are on Whitney Way going north. We just passed the belt line and pretty much everywhere, as I mentioned, uh, filled with snow. There also is a lot of snow sticking to the tree branches. As I mentioned, we saw a tree fall down, but we could also see some power outages during the overnight hours as we're going to continue to see more accumulation. But current road conditions are very bad. Uh, only if you're on the roads, go very slow. And we also are seeing very low visibility. I would say at most about a quarter of a mile to half a mile, but it is very bad right now. Uh, Alex has a little bit more details on the snowfall, though. All right, Jacob, take good care. You're out there with photographer Brian Mesmer. Be safe. And boy, you see those pictures. It, it's a jaw dropper this mm -hmm. afternoon, Alex. It really it really is. What we were waiting on here in the first one weather team, Susan and Charlotte, was to see if that snowfall rate would be heavy enough to get that coat of snow on the ground. And from there, that snow can just pile up. And that's what we're expecting here. Accumulating snow widespread, four to 10 inches with the highest amounts from Madison and points towards the north and towards the east. This is for tonight going on through your Wednesday. We have winter weather bulletins, really winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings for really much of southern Wisconsin going on into your Wednesday. Not going to be shocked in the slightest to see this winter storm warning extended a little bit further to the south. We've also increased those totals across the area. Kelly was first to do this in southern Wisconsin today in the anticipation of more snow. Again, now that we have that base, we're expecting widespread four to 10 inches of snow with that heaviest band, 10 inches or more, perhaps setting up Sauk County, Columbia County, Madison and points off towards the north and towards the east. Coming up a little bit more in Maine weather, we're going to track the snow across all of southern Wisconsin, where it's coming down the heaviest. And also when you can expect, Jacob was saying, those gusts winds we could be looking at winds approaching 45 to 50 miles per hour and again would not be shocked to see some local localized power outages with the weight of the snow uh, out there with the combination of those winds which we just got a report here at the studio we're already at four inches of snow nearing five inches just outside the door spring in Wisconsin yeah. <laughs> Alex thank you the weather is not stopping people from hitting the polls on this election day, even at a polling location that is actually outside. Our Jalen Banks joins us live now from that polling place in Madison. Jalen, I didn't even realize we had outdoor polling places in Madison. Yeah, so Susan, as we all know at this point, the snow is absolutely coming down and we are at Renenbaum Park here in Madison. Polling place, as you mentioned, is outside. And as you can see behind me, they're adjusting pretty well. The poll workers, they have their heaters, there's tarps set up uh, around the center, around the shelter, just to keep the wind and the snow from blowing in. And just being here, it's been a steady flow of voters that have come in throughout the day. We've been here since about noon 
this afternoon. And as I mentioned, they have tarps hung up around. Rennebaum is actually a neighborhood of 2,000 people. And so far, they've had nearly 500 people come out and vote despite the snow and the rain that's come down this afternoon. And we'll continue to keep you updated here at this outdoor polling place and keeping up with all the individuals that are coming out uh, and letting their voices be heard despite the snow and the rain this afternoon. But for now, reporting at Rennebaum Park, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. Former President Donald Trump is in Wisconsin today. He's here on a campaign event in Green Bay. The visit coincides with the presidential primary election today. Our Catherine Merck is live in Green Bay with more on the former president's visit. Catherine? Susan and Charlotte, that's right. We are live inside the KI Convention Center in the Hyatt Regency in downtown Green Bay. And in an hour, former President Donald Trump is expected to speak to the people gathered in the crowd here. Many of his members of his party have already taken to the podium, conveying messages to the crowd here, telling people to get out and vote today. Uh, many supporters that are gathered in the crowd are wearing red hats and holding up signs that say make America great again. This is the former president's first visit to Wisconsin of this election cycle and this is a very important state for him to visit. He lost the state back in 2020's election and won back in 2016. So we're going to be paying very close attention to the message he has to say to people in the crowd here as he tries to get more votes for the 2024 election. We're going to have live team coverage throughout the rest of our newscast. So make sure to stick with us. Reporting live in Green Bay, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, uh, Catherine, thank you. While former President Trump is in Green Bay today, President Biden is planning a trip to Madison. In an announcement this morning, the Biden campaign says the president will be in Madison on April 8th. He will discuss lowering costs for Americans. The last visit the president made to the state was less than a month ago when he visited Milwaukee. No word yet from the White House on where in Madison the president will be visiting. Coming up after the break, a new side to the election. We're heading out to one of the smallest voting districts in our area to tell you how the election changes in rural Wisconsin. That's when Live at Four continues. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Save on new champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new champion windows because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth with the power swabs. I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. 
My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Welcome back. There is a lot of buzz with today's primary election all across the state. Today, our Kyle Pazorski visited rural Lafayette County to see how the election process plays out in some of the smallest of communities. I'm here inside the White Oak Springs Town Hall where the typical election sees about 30 to maybe 40 people coming out to vote. But the clerk here tells me it's still important for people to do their civic duty. I'm hoping for at least half of our voters to come today. Becky Upman is the clerk of White Oak Springs. Town population just over 120. The busiest time during any given election day is around dinner. The longest the line will get, just about five people. Upman says while the town's population is small, making their voices heard is still just as important as in other communities. Well, I, think, I think they think it's their civic duty to do it. I don't, not a lot of them stay around and chat. Their vote is important. Obviously every vote matters. Last April, White Oak Springs only had 37 people show up to vote. Upman expects a smaller number this year with the choices of the general election pretty much locked up. And of course, just like everywhere else across the state, polls do close at eight, but the final tally will likely be pretty close to finished well before then. Reporting here in rural Lafayette County, Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now. Thank you, Kyle. And the poll workers that Kyle spoke with additionally say their voter turnout percentage is typically higher than most other communities throughout the state. Well, the snow is still coming down outside. Let's take another look at the road conditions across Wisconsin. You can see the main roads not looking good, and the roads are still looking rough before the evening commute. Our meteorologist Jacob Montesano is out on a live drive right now with a look at the road conditions firsthand. Hi, Jacob. What's it looking like there now? Yeah, Charlotte, it is very it is very bad on the roads pretty much everywhere you go. The side streets completely snow covered, at least the, some of the main streets. Like right now, we are on Mineral Point Road going west. There are a few tire tracks, but that is about it. And if we take a look in front of us, not only are the roads bad, but the visibility is even worse. The snow really has not let up since it started by, at around 1.45 to 2 p.m. And if you notice, a lot of the trees are are really snow covered and it's causing some branches to fall but also we've noticed there's a lot of situations where the snow has kind of has fallen from the tree branches and if you're underneath that it should be okay to your car but if you're underneath that you know that might hurt a little bit if it hits you on the top of the head so just be careful I'm not sure if you could see but there is a few instances of that right in front of us where there's a big pile of snow falling from uh, the tree branches so because of the heavy snow it's likely going to continue to stick on the branches the power lines could definitely see some power out and obviously when it comes to road conditions, definitely take it easy. Uh, this is not going to let up. In fact, we like they're going to see an even worse commute tomorrow since the, the roads will be completely covered during the overnight snow that we're going to continue to see. All right, Jacob, thank you. Not unheard of to get snow in Wisconsin in April, nope. but mm -hmm. these are the kinds of days that uh, meteorologists love, right, Alex? <laughs> yes, it keeps yes. It the that's weather what, interesting. It is. It, it is. It's one of those scenarios where we've been watching this for days, and it's hard to forecast for because these April snows have a lot of water in them, and when you get just the right conditions, they can really punch out a lot of snow, and we're seeing that snow pile up. And one of the instances I want to call out here first with traffic, there is a crash at exit 252 that's at Greenway Boulevard over towards Middleton but when you look at the first warrant traffic map here and you see all red at 20 miles per hour 30 miles per hour you know just as Jacob was saying and showing you that those road conditions are very very poor and this was my concern leading into this event was once that snow starts to stick you have that base for the rest of that snow to continue to accumulate and then you can inch up those totals which we'll look at here in just a moment alert day conditions are 
expected tonight through your Wednesday. Widespread 4 to 10 inches of snow accumulation with areas from Madison and points towards the north and east likely seeing the heaviest amounts of snow. We may have to bump up these totals now that we have that base of snow out there. Already have confirmed reports here at the WISC TV studios of about four or five inches. Just pass that along to the National Weather Service. So let's plan that night. Let's track tonight. Snow widespread across southern Wisconsin. A break here or there, but it's not going to last long. Look at the snow really taking hold again at midnight across all of southern Wisconsin. Strong winds out of the north. It's going to reduce visibilities. Good news is not expecting much in the way of blowing and drifting, but as Jacob was mentioning, the snow is accumulating on those branches. Those branches could come down, and I would not be shocked to see some localized power outages tonight as that snow continues to pile up. It continues to pile up as we go through that Wednesday morning commute. It continues to pile up as we go towards the lunch hour on your Wednesday with that area of central low pressure, that storm just south and east of Milwaukee. I'm circling it here in the lower right hand part of the screen where that heaviest snow falls is to the north and to the west of that area of low pressure, which really eyes up southern Wisconsin, which also eyes up where we were putting those higher totals and that snow will continue as we go into the evening hours on your Wednesday. Kelly was first to ratchet up those snowfall totals. That's what we did during the noon show as that confidence built that that snow was going to stick to the ground. And again, with that base there, widespread four to 10 inches out there might be a conservative estimate with 10 inches or more. Sauk County, Columbia County, Green Lake, Marquette, maybe even clipping Madison. We could be seeing these totals go a little bit higher as that snow is again already stuck quite a bit out there. You add the winds out there, folks. As we go on into your Wednesday, you've got a recipe for alert day conditions to continue into your Wednesday with gusts approaching 40, 45, maybe even 50 miles per hour, especially out in the bluffs in southwest Wisconsin or in those open areas as well where you don't have those obstructions from buildings and from those trees. Some of the complexity that we're still keeping an eye on, those warm surfaces, those warm surfaces have been overcome already, so that complexity, we can pretty much cross that one off the graphic here now. Cold back road accumulation, most accumulation on grassy surfaces. The roads are also, as we've just seen, are going to continue to have that slushy accumulation overnight tonight. We're expecting those temperatures to fall overnight tonight to down to close to freezing. And with that, that's going to allow that snow to continue to accumulate on the main roads and also on the side roads. All right, I just gave you a lot of information. Let's break that down. Snow and wind tonight, additional accumulations. Snow and wind on Wednesday, additional accumulations. Tune in tonight at seven o'clock. I'll have a live event. We'll break things down even into more detail. That will be on Facebook and on channel3000.com. And we'll also talk about when we can expect conditions to improve as we head further into this newscast and our five and six o'clock newscast progression by the time we get to Thursday's the short answer and going out into the future here we want that snowstorm to get out of here but the impacts the cold weather is going to stick around Thursday going into Friday maybe even into Saturday before we finally break free of this winter blast and see those temperatures warm up and then that's going to start the melting process of this heavy snow. All right, Alex, thank you. And as the snow continues to fall, we're pushing updates to our first worn weather app. Be the first to know about the changing weather by downloading our free first worn app. Just search WISC TV wherever you get your apps. Well, coming up next on Live at Four, we are bringing the 608 to the 414. It is opening day today <laughs> for the <laughs> Brewers. They're back home in their home stadium in Milwaukee. Our Josh Spreiter is taking Taking a look at AmFam Field. Don't think the roof will be open today. No, I don't think so, so at all. That's when Live at Four <laughs> continues. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payment starting at just $30 a month. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain.
This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower. So he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Now from the 608 to the 414, we're checking out what's new this year for the Milwaukee Brewers at American Family Field. The Brew Crew are in action right now for their home opener in a matchup against the Minnesota Twins. Well, Josh Spreider headed east on 94 for a taste of 2024 baseball. It is the home opener for the Milwaukee Brewers, and we're learning more about what you can expect for the 2024 season, and of course, that means merchandise. We have Sean Marefka joining us today. Sean, good to see you again. Good to see you. So we're talking about all things merchandise, and you kind of have some repurposing that you're doing of some old favorites. Yeah, we had um, some existing inventory in our, um, in our line that we wanted to repurpose and add some excitement to the store. So we partnered with a company called Refried Apparel that makes one-of-a-kind items that we can showcase in our store. So if you come into our newly re renovated store outside of the barrel yard, um, you'll see our display of one-of-a-kind items that this company made for us by repurposing some of our old inventory. I love how you kind of focus on doing some new things, but then bringing back some of those old things as well because those are always favorites for the fan. This is the off season, we our purpose was to kind of get back into our roots, kind of like look into mascots, um, overall assortment for everybody. Um, we had a great program with our racing sausages um, when Sublimation first came out, and we wanted to bring that back at an affordable price. We partnered with a company called uh, Forever Collectibles, and they helped us make individual famous racing sausage t-shirts. So that when you put on the shirt, it's like you're with your favorite sausage. And of course, we've got to talk about food at the ballpark. The executive chef, Lauren Rue, joining us. Lauren, good to see you again. Yeah, it's great to see you too. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. So of course, you have all the concessions, but there really is some unique food items that people need to check out this year. Absolutely, yeah. And our restaurants are open to the public. So on a game day, uh, you, you need a terrace level ticket, a field level ticket, a loge level ticket. You can go up to X-Golf. You can go to Barrel Yard and try some 
some of these amazing eats. You know, when you talk about food, this is bringing it to the next level. This is not your typical ballpark kind of food. No, we're really trying to focus on premium ingredients and then taking those ingredients and let, heightening them up with some really great technique. And I love how you focus on local, too. You're trying to get some of those Wisconsin brands in there. Absolutely, yeah. So a huge partnership with Johnsonville, huge partnership with Lining Kugels. Uh, they actually collaborated on a summer shandy brat. So we're featuring that in a couple of different plates this year. We're doing a brat trio flight. Uh, so three different styles. You have a curry style, you have a tailgate style, and you have a Wisconsin style. And then we're also doing some amazing smoked ribs, smoked chicken for like a smokehouse platter. Everything that we're really focusing on the restaurant scratch, which is something you normally don't find in the ballpark. It's normally just hot dogs and burgers and brats. Uh, we're, we're trying to take those ingredients and just elevate in every aspect of our, of our job. Yeah, and you can get it right here at American Family Field. Thank you so much, Lauren. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Happy opening day. Again, we are your home for what's happening here at American Family Field. You can learn more by going to the story on channel3000.com. In the 414, I'm Josh Breider, News 3 Now. What a grit buffet that would be. <laughs> the Brewers are currently playing, and the score right now is 1-3 to three Milwaukee in the bottom of the fifth inning. We want one of those baseball pretzels. Yes. Yeah, that looks really oh. good. <laughs> Coming up next at 4, we continue our coverage of today's election. A closer look at what's on the ballot and how it will affect you when Live at 4 returns. Because for 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. In 2016, Donald Trump ran to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, in 2024, he's running to pass a national ban on a woman's right to choose. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Another year of yo-yo dieting? Not this year. Hit reset and make a permanent change with permanent fat removal by Sonobello. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat gone. These are my favorite pair of jeans that I couldn't even button up. Look how flat my stomach is. I couldn't believe like it was just gone. I saw the results immediately. And this is the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. Real women everywhere are transforming their bodies permanently. Sono Bello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to remove stubborn body fat permanently and in just one visit. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. If you are looking for physical results and positive emotional results, please run, don't walk to your nearest Sono Bello. Ready to hit reset? Find out how you can save $250 off instantly. Call now or go to sonobello.com. Hanson's knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected. And of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 50% off installation with high quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Welcome back. We are continuing our coverage of the spring snowstorm. If you have anywhere to drive tonight, road conditions mm -hmm. are deteriorating quickly. Back roads are especially rough right now, and plows won't be making it out on the back roads for a while yet. Our meteorologist, Jacob Bonasano, is in the car right now with photographer Brian Mesmer. It's slippery out there, Jacob. How does it look? 
Well, we continue to see the snow, the roads completely covered with snow, but we are right behind the snow plow. And I want to point out that he is putting some salt on the roads. And that is the good news with this system. It's just going to barely be below freezing. So uh, salt will definitely be pretty effective. But even with the snow plow moving through, there is still some snow behind the snow plow. And not to mention, obviously, he's pushing the snow on the side of the roads. If you're in a parking lot or uh, your garage, uh, possibly at home, you know, he won't get to the, the plows likely won't get to the side roads later. But it's important to know that by tomorrow morning, uh, you might see a good amount of standing snow at the bottom of your driveway because the, the snow plow will have pushed the snow there. So make sure you get extra time to maybe clear that out because this snow is expected to continue overnight. Now, the good news is that snowfall rates, as far as how much it's snowing currently, has it's lightened a little bit, but we still have visibility at best about a half mile, so still seeing some low visibility. And the roads are not much better, even though we are behind a snow plow. Definitely still pretty bumpy here. Well, we'll continue to provide updates, though, throughout the show. Okay, appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Taking a look now at the Beltline, you can see traffic is moving, but it, it's moving slowly. Visibility is pretty poor, and the roads are wet and slick. Winter's comeback are the weather words today. Yeah. Let's head over to Alex for an update on the forecast. Yeah, even when you'd think these past couple months with severe weather and warm temperatures, winter, thing of the past. Well, it is making its strong comeback to southern Wisconsin. Widespread winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, really for all of southern Wisconsin. This is going to go into Wednesday, as Jacob Montesano was mentioning. We're expecting the snow to last well into Wednesday, along with windy conditions. We've expanded and upped the snowfall totals widespread, 4 to 10 inches, with the heaviest amounts lining up, let's say, the Sauk County area, Columbia County area, Dane County, Madison points towards the north and towards the east. We'll be keeping an eye on this. What I've been waiting for is to see that snow actually stick to the ground. When you got that base out there, the snow can just pile up here. And that's one of those factors that we've been watching here with this April weather event is will that snow stick? And it has. So the potential for these snowfall totals to go up is something that the first one weather team will be keeping a very close eye on tonight. Well, let's take a look at where that snow is right now. Dane County, it's blue everywhere. That means we've got moderate snow coming down at a decent clip. We'll swing off to the southwest. Friends out towards Platteville, a little bit lighter, a little bit heavier as you head up towards Lone Rock and Boscobel. Going up to the northwest, up towards Camp Douglas, Juneau and Adams counties, over towards Marquette and Green Lake counties. Snow coming down at a decent clip across all of southern Wisconsin. A bit heavier right on that edge where that rain snow line is, has now pushed to the east of Janesville, over towards Elkhorn, over towards Pewaukee, heading towards Towards Milwaukee. That's where that rain snow line is going to cut off. So our friends to the south and east of Janesville, I want to call out while well, Madison might see upwards of 10 inches or more of that slushy snow accumulation, you're going to be right on that edge. And that's not uncommon with these spring winter storms to have a lot of snow not too far away. And then you go just a couple miles down the road and there's a lot, lot less. But we'll keep a close eye on this all night tonight. First Warren weather team has all eyes set on this late season winter storm. Voters are braving the weather today to vote in Wisconsin's spring election. There is the presidential primary on the ballot, as well as a bunch of down ballot races for our viewers to vote for. Here with more on what to expect tonight is political reporter Will Keneally. Will? Well, the polls will still be open until 8 tonight, so you procrastinators out there, you still have some time, but we won't see results until a little bit later this evening. So a couple of things to watch out for, though, is what happens with that presidential race. We do know who the two candidates this fall will be. It will be Trump and Biden. But we want to keep an eye on the Democratic side to see how many primary voters cast their votes for uninstructed delegates. Now, some... Progressive uh, groups have been using that as a protest against the Biden administration's policy in Israel and Gaza. We're also looking at a couple of constitutional amendments that will be on the statewide ballots. They come from conservative concerns about how the 2020 election was run. So we could see some more conservative turnout this spring. Schools are also on the ballot this spring. Uh, so we'll see that in both school board races and school referenda. And that's on top of numerous county board races that we'll keep an eye on here. And we'll have the latest throughout the night here on air and online at channel3000.com. Coinciding with the election today, former President Donald Trump is in Green Bay for a campaign event. Our Catherine Merck is live in Green Bay tonight with what we can expect before the former president speaks. Catherine? 
Susan and Charlotte, I'm live here at the KI Convention Center inside the Hyatt Regency in downtown Green Bay. And in the next half hour, former President Donald Trump is going to speak to the crowd that's gathered here. Many representatives from his party have already taken to the podium behind me urging people to get out there and vote just as will was saying back in the studio and many of the supporters here have cheered and said they've shown out today for the former president now this is the first visit trump has made to wisconsin of this election cycle and the current president joe biden has made more than one at this point i spoke to wisconsin's gop chair about what that difference will mean in the new november election take a listen it's much less about Donald Trump being here the first time. It's much more about why Joe Biden has to keep coming back, including into base cities like Madison. Trump won Wisconsin in 2016, but then lost in 2020. So we're going to be paying very close attention to his message today, trying to get some of those votes back. It's a very tight, small space here on the risers as we await to hear from the former president. Make sure to stick with us throughout the rest of the newscast as he speaks at 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Green Bay, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. The stock market took a dive today. The Dow Jones, Dow Jones is down 369 points. The Nasdaq fell 156 points and the S&P 500 fell 37 points. Coming up next on Live at 4, April showers bring new deals. Consumer Reports is back with the biggest deals for your spring cleaning. That's next when Live at 4 continues. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Visit the Century House today and view our extensive lineup. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords Furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. Novartis may help you save on your prescription. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Next to five, it's a big day for the state. We're here in some of Wisconsin's smallest municipalities to explore their voting experiences. A late season winter storm brings alert day conditions through Wednesday at five. I break down the peak timing of the snow, when you can expect the strongest of winds and when the weather will quiet down. And ahead at six, snow is coming down, but it is not stopping people from voting. We visit an outdoor polling station and talk to people braving those elements tonight at six. 
Welcome back. April is the first full month of spring, and that means sales on stuff for inside and outside our homes. Think spring cleaning and lawn care. Yeah, think lawn care. It'll just make you feel better yes. about the weather today. <laughs> Consumer Reports found some big discounts on top-rated products that you'll use this month and well into the summer. Whether it's spring cleaning or spending more time outdoors, Consumer Reports says you can find savings on top-rated items to help you spring into April. Here are the top products to look out for in this month's Best Time to Buy. Cleaning products are an excellent place to start this month as retailers often lower their prices on items like vacuums to stay competitive during the spring cleaning season. This robotic vacuum and mop from Cordy is as low as $159.99 on their website. The Cordy R750 Pro notched very good scores in both cleaning and navigation for its mopping capabilities and CR's tests. If you want an even deeper clean, consider a carpet cleaner. The Hoover Power Dash Pet Advanced Carpet Cleaner is as low as $139.99 at Target. This model scored high in CR's cleaning tests for removing dirt from the carpet. To kick off the warmer months, retailers tend to offer discounts on seasonal items, so it's a great time to shop, especially if you want to spruce up your yard. This battery-powered mower from Cobalt is as low as $3.99 at Lowe's. Your neighbors will thank you for using this mower because according to CR, it's very quiet. It also ACRs tests for handling and mowing evenness. And another item on sale to help with your curb appeal, this battery-powered string trimmer from Toro is as low as $175 at Walmart. This is one of CR's top-rated battery-powered string trimmers. Clean house, check. Tidy lawn, check. Now it's time to upgrade that grill. This large gas grill from Monument Grills is as low as $656.10 at Amazon. This is one of the highest scoring gas grills in CR's ratings. Have a great month, delicious cookouts and all. In Madison, Shane Hogan, News 3 Now. Thank you, Shane. This is also a great time to pull out your summer sports gear out of storage. No, that's not a bad idea. And if your bike helmet has been through the ringer, is over five years old, or if you just want the latest in safety technology, a new helmet may be in order. All right, so let's take a quick look at the roads. Live at 4, we'll return with more coverage on this snowy spring storm right after this break. to Portage Furniture Store, your forever furniture store. Mr. Aaron Ayers, what does that mean? Welcome back, Emmy. Yes, when we talk about forever furniture, we talk about generation lasting, heirloom quality, custom furniture. Case in point, we live it every day. My wife and I, we have a chair in our home that my grandfather sold to my wife's grandparents. Generation lasting, third generation lasting furniture. Long, long before you and Jen had met. That's an incredible story. <laughs> we find love at Portage Furniture. He can promise that right there. <laughs> and still free delivery, amazing service from your crew. We talk about it all the time, the best in the business. Bring it in, set it up for you, move it left, move it right. They are the best. They're going to take care of you. And it looks like the fourth generation, they're just swooping right in. They're making some decisions here, Aaron. They're trying to kick us out the door as quick as they can. They're, they're anxious and they're ready to go. Kenley, are you ready to work in the store someday? Yeah, I was born ready. That a girl? High five. We've all had those moments in businesses where you see the salesperson come at you and you're like, oh man, I haven't even had a second to look. Except that doesn't happen when you come to Portage Furniture. That's right. You know, really, it's a pressure-free environment. Really no pressure at all. Uh, we like our, you know, we like the customers to be able to get a chance to look around, mm -hmm. to, to really sit down on the furniture, to lay down on the mattresses, uh, to really, again, have the no pressure atmosphere here at Absolutely. the store. Absolutely. But they also know their stuff. So when you're ready, when you need them, when you have the questions for them, they're going to be here and, and they're ready to go. Yeah, that's right. You know, our staff and our salespeople are very well knowledge and they know they know the product and everything too. So any questions, they're, they're here for you. From, from the, the entire, entire Portage Furniture, Furniture family, family, I'm Emmy Fink and, and you're buzzed, buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. 
Get an 11% rebate on your next project now at Menards. Protect your home with Atlas Shingles. They feature a limited lifetime warranty, up to 130 mile per hour wind warranty, and a super wide design for fast installation. Menards also has the largest in stock selection of concrete landscaping blocks. Holland patio pavers are perfect for walkways and patios. Only 25 cents each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the Texas Tenors live in concert. Don't miss an exciting evening with the award-winning trio who are celebrating their 15th anniversary tour. One night only, Saturday, April 13th. Tickets on sale now at friendspac.org. That is a live look from Platteville. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a pretty ominous picture. Uh -huh. I think somebody needs to put the windshield wipers on, but oh that pretty much is the story. Wow, it, the weather is just crazy this mm -hmm. afternoon. It's wet and chilly and snowy. Mm. Well, in less than a week, the continental U.S. will witness a partial or total solar eclipse. On April 8th, the moon will pass between the Earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sun's light. But you're going to need to take precautions to avoid injuring your eyes. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Pothoff is visiting visiting us virtually for his weekly visit. Hello. Wise decision, Dr. Pothoff, <laughs> to stay off the roads. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So how do you find the proper eclipse glasses? Because everyone's just trying to grab whatever they want, but we've got to be serious about this. Yeah, I think a common misperception is, you know, that good pair of sunglasses that you have is good enough to look at the eclipse. And, and really it's not, you can still damage your eyes uh, what you're really looking for are eclipse-specific sunglasses. Uh, they're going to have very dark lenses, uh, such that if you have like a pen light, you hold it behind the lens, you're not going to see that pen light uh, on the other side. Um, there is an ISO kind of certification. Uh, it's 12312-2. Um, a lot of those glasses are available locally. You can get them on Amazon. Um, some libraries are giving them out. Uh, I encourage everyone to look at the uh, solar eclipse, but make sure you do it with special classes. We have a pair here just so people can get an idea. They're inexpensive. They're just paper. And mm -hmm. then the lenses, they look sort of like welding glasses, and they're very attractive. They are. They? It's almost like you can go see one of those uh, those movies, right, that you needed the, exactly. the special glasses. But why, why do you need them? Um, why is it so dangerous to look at the eclipse without them? Yeah, so there's a condition called uh, solar retinopathy. Uh, and, you know, I think all of our moms told us, like, don't look directly at the sun or you'll go blind. And you, there, there's a little bit of truth to that. Uh, so if you look at uh, the sun, uh, it doesn't take very long. You can damage the retinal cells in your eye. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you uh, do it for a short period of time, maybe that's reversible, but you can actually get irreversible eye damage uh, from that. It's the same type of injury that welders get when they look at the arc. Uh, same kind of injury we worry about when high-powered lasers are shined in people's eyes. Um, so, uh, you know, it's not just an old wives' tale. It actually is pretty important to make sure we're not staring directly into the sun, especially in Wisconsin, where the sun will be about 80, 85 percent covered. Uh, but that remaining 15 percent is enough where it could cause some problems to your eyes if you try to look at the, the eclipse for the, you know, two or three minutes that it's going on. So when, at what point during the eclipse do you start to wear your glasses? Yeah, I would say anytime you want to look directly at the sun, uh, you should wear those glasses. So the more of the sun that's uncovered, the more important the glasses are. Uh, technically, those folks in southern uh, Illinois where they're going to have totality, i.e. the sun completely covered by the moon, you could take the glasses off uh, during that you know period of time. That would be safe. But we're not going to have totality here in Wisconsin. So anytime you're looking at the sun on Monday, it's good to have those glasses on. What if you're looking through binoculars? You still need to yeah, be using the glasses? For sure. In fact, I, I don't recommend people use binoculars or a telescope. You certainly would need to use the glasses, but uh, unaided, so no glasses through a binocular telescope would really focus those UV rays. Uh, could make this uh, a quicker event uh, as far as damaging your retina if you're using a magnifying glass. Would it be safe to assume the same goes for your phone, your camera, if you're trying to look yeah, through and take pictures? Yeah, if you can look at your camera screen, uh, you'd probably be okay because the brightness of your, your phone uh, screen only gets so high, that wouldn't be damaging. Uh, I know NASA is also live streaming uh, the, the total eclipse or the eclipse, uh, and that would be uh, completely safe too. It'd be more, you know, I'm outside, I'm gonna look right at the sun, 
that's where the risk starts to come in. A lot of excitement mm -hmm. building for this. Let's all see it safely. Thank you, Dr. Potoff. Safe travels home tonight. Yeah, you as well. All right, let's head over to Alex for a look at our first warn forecast. Yeah, the first warn winter storm forecast, late season winter storm across the area, really taking unfold across all of southern Wisconsin. Really quite impressed from a meteorological standpoint of how the snow has come down. It's sticking and that's really going to amp up probably our totals here. We may modify this evening. Right now, widespread four to 10 inches expected for all of southern Wisconsin with the highest amounts north of Madison. This will be tonight, lasting through your Wednesday. We're gonna track it here in a moment, but first, winter storm warnings for a good portion of southern Wisconsin. Madison points to the north. Winter weather advisories from Madison and points to the south. Would not be shocked to see a couple more counties added in this winter storm warning as this winter storm continues to strengthen and unfold across all of southern Wisconsin. Kelly up the totals today at noon. Spot on, Kelly. Bravo job. Widespread four to 10 inches amount amounts across southern Wisconsin with that heaviest amount expected to develop Madison, Sauk County, Columbia County, up towards the north, towards Marquette and Green Lake counties. But we're keeping an eye on that. Again, we have that base of snow out there. And as more snow fills in as we head towards midnight, again, Jacob was saying earlier in, our, in the live shot on the roads, briefly reduce visibilities down a little bit, meaning not quite as heavy right now. But we will see more periods of snow heavy at times tonight. Look at that at 6 o'clock in the morning, all of southern Wisconsin dark blues across the area and that's that wet heavy variety carrying on towards the lunch hour. The actual area of low pressure itself is going to be towards the south and towards the east towards Milwaukee. I take a moment here our friends just east of Janesville. You'll be just close enough to this area where we get a little bit of uh, water or rain mixed in. You can see significantly less snowfall totals. Janesville and points to the south and towards the east. Then you don't have to go too far to the north and towards the west where the heavier snow lines up from Madison and points towards the north, towards the east. Roaring winds expected Wednesday morning, 40 to 45 miles per hour. So as we get this accumulation on trees, we already have had reports of tree branches down. Not going to be shocked to see tree branches go down overnight tonight. That could cause some isolated power our outages will be keeping an eye on that as well. So the winds, the snow out there accumulating a upwards four to 10 inches. What are we watching now here? The snow is sticking on these warm surfaces. That was a concern I had. It is not a concern anymore. And that means the snow is going to continue to accumulate. So expect road accumulation to continue. That includes our main roads, especially as we head later into tonight as those temperatures fall down to near freezing. The first one weather team are keeping an eye on these snow totals. Now that we have that base of snow out there, which is what we were, it was a variable. It was a concern. We weren't quite sure if the wet ground, the green grass was going to melt the snow. It's not. The snow has overtaken that and that allows more snow to pile up so we could be seeing an increase in the totals. I'll have the latest at 6 and of course at 10. Again, with those temperatures falling down to right near freezing degree, right to near 32, that's that junction where we have that accumulation on those area roadways. So expect accumulation to continue on our roads, especially those back roads with reduction in visibilities, particularly in those open areas with winds approaching 40 to 45 miles per hour. The snow and wind last through Wednesday. You're probably wondering when is this going to improve, Alex? Late Wednesday night, but by the time we get into Thursday, the winds will start to ease up a bit and we'll see the sun come back out again. And that's going to start the melting process as we head towards the weekend. First one weather team, we've been talking about a warm up, but this weather system is going to impact that warm up. We're pushing that warm up out until next week. We'll be back in a few moments. After a serious truck crash, you need a team who knows how to handle trucking cases and gets results. You need Gruber Law Offices. There's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. What can our phone do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. <laughs> No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible! And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation! My boy! What you doing? I'm locking in my prize picks. I just pick more or less on player stats. If I get them right, I win B. Yeah, like what? I got you. Oh, a black genie. If you pick two right, 
sweet. You win 3x. Pick four right, you win 10x. And if you pick six right, you win 25x you can. That don't get no better than this. Oh, but it does. Because right now, Prize Picks is matching your first deposit up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy made easy. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services, from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what you need when you've been in a serious truck accident. Call Gruber Law Offices. We've successfully helped people injured by big trucks for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Alert day conditions will continue overnight, lasting into Wednesday. Heavy, wet snow and very windy conditions are expected. I have the latest snow totals and wind gusts. It's a big day for the state. We're here in some of Wisconsin's smallest municipalities to explore their voting experiences. From damaging drought to catastrophic flooding and severe storms in every season, the News 3 Now First Warn Weather Team gives you a deeper understanding of Wisconsin's ever-changing weather with special reports that go beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. Look at this, a helicopter crew rescuing a man after he fell dozens of feet down a cliff. All of it was caught on camera. The helicopter crew in Sonoma County, California, used thermal imaging cameras to find the man clinging to a side of a cliff. He was in grave danger until the tactical flight officer was able to reach him and lift him to safety. After being flown to safety, the man was given a medical evaluation and later released. A happy ending for a situation that could have ended in tragedy. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Does your roof look great from the ground, but yet it's still leaking? We see roofs every day that look great, but the important details weren't done correctly. With the average cost of a replacement roof being north of $25,000, that might not be what you need. Let one of our specialists give you a free 16-point inspection and let you know exactly what's really wrong with your roof and show you how we can restore it, saving you thousands. Remember, when you think roofing, think Larson, Wisconsin's best roofing experience. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. So how green is your thumb? Here at the Bruce Company, it doesn't matter if you're a seasoned gardener or a newbie. When you come to the Bruce Company, you'll get expert advice from their knowledgeable team. You'll find beautiful plants, pots, and garden art, plus creative ideas and solutions. The Bruce Company has all the tools you'll need to bring your dream garden to life. So dream big and get growing with help from the Bruce Company. The Bruce Company, your outdoor living experts. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. That wraps up Live at Four for this snowy Tuesday. Hope you'll stay with us for News 3 at 5. Charlotte's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Charlotte? 
Susan, tomorrow on Live at Four, don't let the snow deter you from thinking about spring. Lisa Briggs will answer your plant and garden questions. And next at five, it wouldn't be opening day at the Brewers without some tailgating. Sights and sounds from American Family Field. We thank you for joining us for Live at Four. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.